we are discussing this uh, we have to go to this special folder called as ht docs that's the place you have to save the files html css or whatever the php code should be written there now it is available in the exam folder you need to go to the exam folder under that you will get this folder called as ht docs this one so inside this ht docs uh, you can save all the uh, php html all file can be saved if you want you can create a separate uh, folder and you can save the files so this is the place we are going to save all the php files inside the exam folder now let's see uh, how to write a simple programs in the php now you can use the normal html codes inside you can have this uh, php codes so in general uh, in php codes uh, it started by this tag so this tag is the one which will indicate the starting point of the php uh, question marks php and ended by again the question mark this is the end point of the php codes and once you write the php program you can give any name and you have to give the extension a uh, file extension is php for html we give the html for the php we have to save as php and again you have to remember every php codes must be ended by semicolon this one each line ended by semicolon which is not there in the html so here it's a very simple program uh, we want to display something that means you want to echo back from the server for that one you can use a function called as echo by using this function echo you can display the values so in that case each line must be ended by semicolon remember either you can use double quotation or single quotation for the strings or characters but when you are using the variables this is little bit different so at the moment for the strings or characters you can use either single or double quotations to represent the strings or set of uh, characters so when you run this one you will get the outputs this will be output now let's see how to write a simple program uh, to write the programs again you can use normal notepad and write but if you want you can download the uh, notepad plus plus you can go to the google and search the uh, search the notepad plus plus uh, download then you can get this notepad plus plus this is a good editor to write the programs so what you can do is you can just download this sun and install it very easy and this is a good editor to write many programs so i have already downloaded so it's a notepad plus plus yeah you can download this and then you can write the uh, php codes so uh, you can write the php code in the normal html codes now uh, to write that one uh, you need to have the question mark and php that indicate the starting point of the php and then this is done by question mark this so then all the php codes should be written using this so this indicates php code starting point and this indicate the php code end point so uh, yeah i'm going to use that uh, x echo function
and each line must be ended by semicolon. So this is very simple program and then uh, you need to save this one. Now this is the htdocs folder here you can save now I am have I have a folder called as a demo inside I am going to save uh, I will give a new name let's say ICTA level 2021.php so I gave the name ICTA level 2021.php that's the name I have given for the PHP code which is saved in the folder called as a demo so then to run this one you can go to the web browser and you have to run the local host local host colon and the port number how do I get the port number so port number you can get from here <coughs> You can see here is the port number 8080 is port number for the Apache server so port number and I have stored this in a folder called as a demo so inside that folder I have saved then the what's the file name I gave you ICT a level 2021.php that's the file name I gave you then I can just run so you can see display the things that I have written now this is coming from the PHP server. So that's where you can write very simple program codes. So in here either you can use double quotation or single quotation no matter. So in here uh, if I use single quotation. So I'm using single quotation and just saved and just repressed. You can see no difference. So therefore, either you can use single quotation or double quotation, no matter. So it works fine. This can be single or double quotations. Then remember this uh, displaying something can be done using the echo or you can use a print. One of these functions can be used. Both are working in the same way. So in here I am using echo and print. Remember for the function names or keywords in this language are case insensitive doesn't matter capital simple it doesn't matter capital simples and again remember these four functions normally functions are having a parenthesis open parenthesis and the close parenthesis this one the parenthesis must be in there but even i have a parenthesis here i am not using the parenthesis but here i am using the parenthesis so even i use i even i don't use no matter it works fine the parents is not compulsory to have even I use the parents even I don't use the parents no matter same output comes so then remember either you can use a echo function or print function and they are capital simple no matter they are case they are not case sensitive they are case insensitive so then you need to understand here <coughs> either you can use this echo Or you can use here <coughs> print I can use a print to echo both are giving the same output so to separate it let's say I just put this one as one this one as two like that so and again even I use uh, capital letters or simple letters again no matter So I use the capital letters echo 
and again uh, I use the brackets here and this is the third line and this is the fourth line so then just save that and I'm going to run it You can see all lines are coming. This is the first line, second line, third line, fourth line. Why are they coming in each line single line? Because they are not separated. If I want to separate, uh, what I can do is I can use the tag. I can use the tag uh, br. because ID for the semicolon here that's error each line must be ended by semicolon so you can see it comes the next line similarly if I want to line break I have to use the BR tag then you can see they are coming the separate line so then you have to understand here either you can use capital or simple for the function names no matter uh, even use uh, brackets or parentheses or not use parentheses no matter it will work fine Is it clear? Any questions? Here these outputs are coming in the same line because these four are shown in the single line. The reason is uh, we didn't use the BR line break is not used. That is why here this output will be displayed as a single line. Then the comments. Now uh, the comments, how you can add the comments in the PHP. Uh, remember single lines comments can be written by two backslash. Or you have to use a hash. Like this. These are single line comments. But if you have multi lines comments, more than one line, you can use the backslash and star and star and backslash like this. You can add the comments this way. Now, why are we using these comments? Remember, the comments are added for other people to read and understand this program. Sometimes the person who is going to read may not doesn't know anything about the php but once he read this comment he can understand what it is so that's the purpose of the comments so then single lines are written like this multiple lines are written like this so remember the same method uh, this one is used in the css also Now the next one is the very important one, the variables. Now what are these variables? Remember variable means some names. Some names which are used to 